should be good. So if we say 5 by 5 and then we click create grid, this will create oh, I forgot to increment our index but this will create 25 slots and then we can go back to our grid and click clear grid to destroy them all. Let's go ahead and get this numbered right. Say index plus plus. Alright, um, so now we also need to actually position them properly. Position equals new vector 3. And we also want to include a starting position for our grid. Okay, so let's use our card to find a good starting position. So it's going to be top left, which means it's going to build down from the top left corner downwards. Uh, so this is negative 8, 10. So we can say negative 8, 10. And the spacing between cards is about 4. Uh, 3. In the X and to create one more and about four in the Y. Okay, so let's go back to our good with these numbers. Three and four. So when we create our new position, let's go ahead and say that our x position is going to be from our starting position dot x, from our starting position dot y, and from our starting position dot z. And this is going to be plus our x times our x spacing. And this is going to be plus our y times our y spacing. All right. Now, if we click uh, create grid, so it's still going up, and that's because this should be a minus. Now, let's go ahead and clear this grid out. Create it. And now our grid is building down. Alright, so far so good. Um, in here, we want to use our enumeration that we had before, which is our orientation. Right now we only have one case, which is our top left. But this is the top left case. So copy that, paste, paste it in here. Let's go ahead and delete this. Okay.
Uh, we can take this out, put this up to the top. All right. Uh, one more thing we want to do now is that with our game object, we want to say the transform dot parent is equal to our game object dot parent or transform. So let's go ahead and clear this, create it again, and now they're all parented properly. Okay. Uh, the next thing we want to do, instead of just using a game object for our slot, we want to have the ability to use a prefab. So we're going to add a game object called slot prefab. And in here, instead of doing this, we want to say instantiate slot prefab vector 3.0 dot identity as game object. Okay. And then we want to say the name is equal to slot plus index dot to string. And we want to make a slot prefab that we can expand upon later on. Um, for now, we're just going to zero this stuff out, drag a card into here, zero this thing out, leave the rotation so that it properly rotates. We're going to call this our slot. We're going to drag this into our prefab folder, delete our old cards. Uh, after we've dragged this in, we can delete this as well. Go back to your grid and then drag this to the uh, slot prefab area and then click uh, create grid and now we have a grid left aligned with all of our slots and this goes from 0 to 25 or 0 to 24 and that's going to be it for today uh, thank you guys for watching